Today, we're gonna see how easy it is to take the Bamboo Lab nozzle and swap it to a different size. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. In my last video, I showed you how to swap out the complete full hot end on an X1 Carbon, X1, or P1P. They're very similar across those machines, and I pointed out what was different in that video. It used a full hot end, something like this, that came with the fan, the thermistor, the ceramic pad and the silicone sock all ready to go. But what happens if you just wanna swap out the nozzle, say to a 0.2 or a 0.4, maybe a, a 0.6 or 0.8, and you don't wanna buy the complete hot ends. Also very easy to do and just about the same on both these printers as well. But let's do it. Before we get started, you wanna make sure you unload any filament that's in your machine. Also, shut your machine off and unplug it. It's also very important that you make sure your hot end is under 30 C. So don't do this if you just got done printing, let it cool down for a little bit. We start by removing the magnetic cover from the front of the hot end. Unplug the cables that are in the board and pulling them out of the guide. If you're doing this on an X1 or X1 Carbon, there will be three of these. If you're doing it on the P1P, there's only two and the connectors are just a little bit different. Now we need to take out the two screws that are holding the hot end in. Those are these two screws here and just unscrew them and pull them out. Once they're out, gently pull down and remove the hot end from the extruder. To do this, we need to start by removing the fan. You can remove the fan by taking out these two screws right here. And once they're fully removed, you can set the fan aside. Next, we need to pull down the silicone sock, and you can do that with minimal force by just pulling it down and off of the hot end and set that aside as well. Last but not least, we need to pull off the little retaining clip. This can be the tricky part, but I did it by getting my nails kind of on each side and then kind of pulling it down and off. And once that's off, you can set that aside as well. Now take a needle nose pliers and pull the thermistor up and out of the hole very carefully and set that aside. Once you do that, the ceramic pad will fall pretty much right off and you can set that down next to everything else. Now we need to take the thermal paste that came with your nozzle and open it up. And you wanna put a little bit right on the flat spot of the nozzle where there's a little channel where the wires go through. It is opposite the side where the numbers are for the size of the nozzle and there's a channel right up through the heat break. So you wanna take your thermal paste and put it right on there and then a little bit right over the hole where the thermistor is gonna go back and sit. Now you wanna use a Q-tip. I didn't have a Q-tip because I forgot it, so I used this little thermal paste spreading tool I got from Slice Engineering. It's kind of like a Q-tip, but it's not a Q-tip. <laughs> so just spread it on there nice and good, and then we'll move on to the next step. Now we wanna carefully put the thermistor back in the hole using your little needle nose pliers and run the cable up that wire channel. Then take your ceramic heat pad and set that down on the thermal paste and run the wires up through that channel as well and hold that down with your thumb. Now we take our retaining clip with the other hand and slide it all the way back up onto the nozzle. Now you wanna make sure you take note of how this is put on when you pull it off. Otherwise you can pause the video and see how it is now, but basically you take that clip and push it all the way up the side and just make sure that the wires are not pinched through the side of that clip. They should go through the little channel that is in the clip that allows them to hold the wires there as well. You can put your fan back on now as well by setting it right on top of the hot end like this and then screwing those two screws down. Please be careful not to over tighten those screws though. And that's it, you're done. You should be able to do this in about 10 minutes or less, give or take, and the first time will take you a little bit longer, but it's not that big a deal and it's super easy. The cool thing is it'll allow you to swap nozzles anytime you want from any size you want. And these nozzles are only $14.99. So if you already have a complete hot end assembly or the one that came on your machine, you can actually pick up different size nozzles for only $14.99 and just swap them out when you want. Personally, I like to keep another full hot end or two around and just have different size nozzles on them. Then all I have to do is pull it out, put the new one in, and I'm done, I'm good to go. But this allows you to have a lot of versatility with a lot of different nozzle sizes and only one or two full hot ends if you really want to. Also, if you ever encounter an issue with a hot end, you'll have another one ready to go. All you have to do is pop the old one out, throw the new one in, and you're ready to keep printing. You can fix that one while your machine's printing with the new one. It's a win-win and I love keeping all these extra nozzles around. They're actually super inexpensive and this little printed piece, if you haven't seen that, check out this video right here, but it's a really cool way to store them and kind of display them as well. Real quick, if you're getting value from today's video, please smash that like button. 
Also, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome 3D printing, CNC, and laser related videos. My goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers this year and with your help, I can get there. So I really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button too. Also, if you wanna check out more awesome upgrades for your Bamboo Lab printer, check out this video.